Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, going to take a little bit of a moment to talk to y'all for a second. Got a little bit of Smokey Robinson and Daryl Hall in my background. They're going to be singing, ooh, baby, baby, and Sarah smile okay ladies and gentlemen while they're playing in the background I just want to let you know what we go through in trying to produce information trying to help people everybody and everybody and everybody who knows I spend my time trying to assist my neighbor because I'm required to I, I have an obligation to help my brother. And sometimes my brother is a sister. And sometimes my brother is a group. Okay, but nonetheless, my job is to help my neighbor. Doesn't matter if I like, dislike, love, hate, doesn't matter. None of that matters. Because the God that I serve requires that I love my neighbor as well as myself. And the son of my God told me that I have to love my enemy. So I don't have any enemies. Because if you love your enemy, how can it be an enemy? Go ahead and look up the definition of enemy. So if you love your enemy, then he can't be an enemy. That's what he was trying to say. But, you know, still people didn't get that. So, I don't have any enemies. I don't have time for enemies. That's, it's too much, it's too much energy wasted. And it really is wasted. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pulling up the agriculture law farm bill, United States farm bill. Now we showed you guys yesterday. Now that's just pulling up in the background. We're not going to talk about that. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes to talk to you guys about something. This video, I'm hoping to keep it short. We have an organization called SACCOM, the Securities Acquisition Trust Commission. And we gave to our members tax credits. Now, many of them don't understand tax credits from tax uh, bubblegum. Literally, they, they have no clue. What they don't understand is we can't tell them how to utilize their tax credits. Why can't we do that? Because the moment we do, then we are involved in a conspiracy against the United States government, and there you go. Tax credits are lawful. Tax credits happen every single day without missing a beat. They are to be utilized to help reduce debts and yes can be utilized to receive a refund if it's done the correct way so we took and we placed a folder in the PDF section not our information that individual is no longer alive and he shows you guys how to do your tax paperwork now uh, 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 some people must understand you got to do your own research because he only gives you the basics doesn't give you the technicalities. So that's just for your benefit, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot afford to provide you any more information. You're not supposed to be showing your tax credit documents and the assignment of tax credit documents to anybody. Those are for your records. People didn't understand it either. They, they're showing it to their tax preparers. It, that's none of your tax preparers' business. You tell them, I have this many tax credits. Do you have to show them the 1099-C? By all means, show them your 1099-C. By all means, show them your 1099-C. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is necessity. So show them the 1099-C so that they can <clears throat> see. And that's it. Really that simple. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, we started the, um, let me go ahead and pull this down. We started 
the SACOM organization and then we eventually started other organizations to help people, AMCF, AmeriLegion, and last year, in the month of October, we put out information seeking to bring in individuals to help us with the organization and to help you. We told everybody what the deal was. We told them that this is not a supplemental income thing. The main thing here is to help people, and people said, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to help people. Oh, no, and I'm not looking to get rich. So we brought in, I think, eight people. We had a total of 15 that applied. We had eight. There's only one person of that group remaining because that group that came in decided that they were going to violate the number one policy. It's, we have a policy, the number one policy is no lobbying. You know, where people get together and they huddle up and they talk about their gripes and their grievances and they, no, 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 we talk about our grievances during our commissioner meetings, during our meetings, during our company meetings. There are no secrets. I don't keep secrets, people. There's no reason for secrets. Every secret has never been kept. Go ahead, every secret has never been kept. There's not a single secret out there that's ever been kept. No secret can remain a secret. All secrets eventually come out to the fore. Do you guys understand that's a law? Anything hidden will be uncovered? That is a law? You cannot get around that law, so there's no need of trying. And everybody who's tried has ended up ruining a whole lot of time because eventually the junk that they were trying to keep secret came out. Well, anyway, these individuals got together thinking I didn't know. I could tell by the conversations that they were getting together. You can't hide the fact that you're holding a conversation about something because you are trying to avoid speaking on certain things. That means that something's going on. That means that that's on your mind. That means that that was discussed. That means that you thought about it. That means that blah, 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 blah. In conversation, this comes up without people even thinking about it. I'm analytical, people. I listen to conversations. People think that I don't listen. That is the biggest misnomer on this planet because I do listen to everything everybody says. I listen to how they said, and I listen to when they said, and why it was said, in the context of which it was said. Well, anyway, there has been the last three people I said in the month of February, I said we have at least one more person here who I'm waiting to see whether or not they're going to leave. And they're going to let me know by their conduct. Now, I was just letting everybody and their grandmama know that I know that it's, you know, we still have an issue here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had three people that I had to, one of them voluntarily removed themselves and the other two with that group who all decided in on the same thing, I had to accept their conduct as being enough. Two of them didn't show up yesterday and didn't notify us and one of them hadn't shown up for the last three meetings. So I get the message. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so tired of people especially people operating in ignorance, acting like they're operating in honor. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot lie. You cannot agree to do something and then pay attention, not do it, and hide the fact that you're agreeing to do something and then not do it. It makes That makes no sense. As a matter of fact, I agree with Daryl Hall. I can't go for that. All right, so what's the dealio? Why am I doing this? I'm here to let you guys know this is the stuff that goes on in the background that I have to deal with. Now, let's talk about spot trading for a moment. I started to do a video yesterday to talk about spot trading, and then I decided not to put it up. I, it turns out I thought I made a mistake, and I didn't make a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the SEC and the federal government have each decided that they're going to attack cryptocurrency and all of the major exchanges because they said the exchanges are operating 
as if they are brokers, which means these are securities. Now I apologize for the speaker system because I forgot when I do these videos I have to be on my headset and I didn't do the headset so I apologize. Back to the spot trading. Ladies and gentlemen, when the SEC investigation is over and the funds are released, we will have over $600,000 in a five, uh, excuse me, this is, we're at three months now. $600,000 in three months. Where can you do that at? For 15 minutes of work. So, I have a lot of talking I have to do with the staff today and with the group on spot trading. And we're going to continue to spot trade. We're just waiting for the SEC so that we can have access to our funds. Because it's because of the SEC and the DOJ and what they're doing that everybody's having a problem with drawing their money from cryptocurrency and just so that you guys get it again i'll say it again they're saying because the cryptocurrency exchange programs where you can exchange a cryptocurrency to cash they say that those individuals who are operating these exchange platforms are operating as brokers and because they're operating as brokers then they should be uh, penalized and they should be held as securities and they have to register with the Securities Exchange Commission. That's not true. These are peer-to-peer -peer networking platforms. That's all they are. Okay, that's all they are. They are not serving as brokers. Now, with the technicality, because there is an exchange rate, in other words, a fee being charged, a fee is being charged for services. They're going to say it's broker services. It's not broker services. They're not brokering deals between people. They're exchanging. So just like a currency exchange uh, facility doesn't have to register with the SEC, this currency exchange facility does not have to register with the SEC. Cryptocurrency has been determined and held to be currency. The SEC chairman has said that several times. Look, I got to go because I'm working on some paperwork to help resolve that issue with the SEC and bringing forth our complaint against the SEC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good day. I got to go. Take care of yourselves. Hey, Errol, there, there, Daryl Hall and CeeLo. Y'all say y'all can't go for that? Well, what, what y'all going to go for? Have a good day, y'all.